just got the craziest email. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. Three hours sleep because I saw the greatest show of my life. But I think it's gonna be top by this Sunday when I see Toto again. So I just arrived in New York today and I am now Harry Potter in my broom cupboard. So not only does the water flush the opposite way, the taps also run the opposite way. So tonight I'm gonna to go meet up with a guy who I worked with online. I played drums on his album and I mixed his album. His band's called Flight of Silence. His name is Brian Elridge. And we're gonna meet up for the first time and hang out in New York. I see a stray here. I can't believe I'm here, this is crazy. So I'm heading to Grand Central to meet up with Brian. And this is gonna be surreal. I've actually never been into this place, so it's gonna be crazy. Hmm. My man. What's going on? Nice to the meet you. Meeting. What's up? Woo! So beautiful. Oh my god, I'm in Seinfeld! American Pizza Hall. No. <laughs> so I'm going to be playing drums live on the Today Show. I want a drum solo. And Brian's going to be guesting on lead harmonica. Oh, you, I play recorder. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, recorder, yeah. yeah. I'm on triangle, hey. Yeah. <laughs> So much neon! Yeah. Cinematic! When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Great Scott! Have you ever had fried Oreos before? So this is a fried Oreo America. Buses and Central Park is in sight. Who are the heavy cars? This guy's lived a mean life. Beautiful leg. This is so awesome. And if you look behind me, I have amazing scenery and then amazing buildings. And amazing people. And amazing people like this guy. Looks like we've arrived in New York. <laughs> so I'm standing around the area where Harry Osborne betrayed Peter Parker and I'm about to take the first bite from my American hot dog. Here's our hot dog. Baseball. In Central Park. Take a video with the squirrel, son. I'll cook you on the Bobby love. Stare me off. <laughs> it's lurking in the background. Why would I want to push you away? I love you. I feel so lonely. Where are you? Where are you now? It's gonna catch up with Jerry, Kramer, Elaine, and George in. The, the restaurant. No way. It's the yeah. Here's my meal in the Seinfeld restaurant, and I'm not going to show you any more than the booth because it's not as it turns out to be <laughs> in the TV show. Ooh, Subway. Oh. Eat fresh. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous sight. So I'm here at the Statue of Liberty with Brian. And Hello, Australians and other people in the world.
<laughs> oh, look at Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. We're here in New York and about to scale this beauty. Iconic. We're having a spinal tap moment and can't find the stage. <laughs> Spider-Man Xbox 2002. I am now officially in Connecticut and the snapping me. I just saw an American turkey cross the road. Eating some Mexican American at Chipotle. Chris here. <laughs> hey man. I'm actually standing in an actual American suburban neighborhood residential street. And it's crazy. I feel like I'm in Scream. A wild grind up here. Hello. <laughs> I bet you there's like a hot blonde chick like driving. So like, probably like a 90 year old man driving. Like, I mean, let's be real. National Lampoon's like vacation. Yeah, oh, so hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guitar center. Just going down to Cafe 9 to play a show with this asshole. Sup, I'm a huge prick. Ah! So I'm here at Cafe 9 in New Haven, about to play on stage with these guys. And I've been meeting people left, right, and center that I knew from WAV file recordings. And then I can finally put a name and face to the WAV file. And it's crazy, it's gonna be the first gig that I'm doing in the America, the first live performance ever. And it's gonna be awesome. Woo! So, I'm about to eat a real hot pretzel in New York in Grand Central Station. Let's see how we go. It actually tastes like a pretzel, but like doughy and salty. Yeah! So, this is my last night in New York. It's been incredible. I've done so much over the last two days, three days, two days, and tomorrow I'm going to see and meet up finally with Jacob Dulaps. One of the funniest memories from this trip was walking past a bunch of girls and then one of them saying, dude, that guy has better hair than I do. 